Welcome to the second installment of the Vieira Palooza and the virtual Phoenix College campus tour. We're inside the Bullpit Auditorium, an iconic building here at the PC campus. On these walls, you see portraits of PC's leaders since 1920. PC's founders adopted an open admission policy, offering unparalleled access to higher education for everyone. A multicultural and diverse student population has become one of the hallmarks of Phoenix College. PCs continue to be a place of diversity, equity, and access. As a vital part of a thriving community, Phoenix College plays a significant role in raising the skill level of the workforce and in closing the achievement gap. Searching for a place where I wanted to expand my knowledge, I decided to find a place of excellence. But not only that, also a place where we all count. Anyone walking through these doors, any religion, any language, any country, anyone whose talents are about to explode, are about to become, this is the place to be. Phoenix College gives everyone that opportunity. So I want to say Phoenix College, thank you. Happy 100th and 100 more. In the meantime, let's continue the tour, shall we? To me, PC has always been on the forefront of change. The first time that I walked into a room to take grammar, it was like stepping into a UN auditorium. There were people from all over the world, all languages, all races, men and women, trying to find their future. How exciting! We are now passing by the Student Union building, affectionately called the Bear's Den. Students come here to relax, study and connect with other students. Did you know there are more than 30 student clubs at Phoenix College? There's something for everyone to get involved. Hey, look who it is, Bumstead. I know it is your 100th birthday tomorrow, so happy birthday to you. Up ahead is the John Paul Theater. The PC Theater program is one of the longest running theaters in Arizona and is highly regarded among thespians. In fact, former KEZ and iHeartRadio personality Marty Manning got his start right here at PC. And actually, he remembers Nick Nolte being in one of his classes. On our left are PC's gyms. Phoenix College has a long tradition of winning athletics. You may know a few PC alumni who have gone on to excel in their sport, like US women's soccer champion Jessica McDonald and former Phoenix Sun player Dennis Moe Layton, former Green Bay Packers Moody Jackson and Fred Carr. Can you believe that Phoenix College is 100 years old? We started out so small in a sheet metal shop on the back of the Phoenix Union High School's campus. I had only five students in our first graduating class. The college moved two more times in the 1920s before finding this beautiful location on 11th Avenue and Thomas in 1939. At the time, this was all farmland. PC sure has seen many, many changes. So we have arrived to our last stop of today's tour, the music building. Did you know that a number of musicians, very well recognized musicians, have attended PC in the past? Did you know that C.C. Peniston, the famous songwriter and singing artist of American pop, attended PC and she even wrote a poem that is being said that is the base of her famous song, Finally. You know, we all come to PC with the idea of starting our journeys, our professional journeys and our careers. In my case, to propel my career forward. Thank you for joining me during today's tour. I'm gonna go into the building and listen to some music. By the way, I'll see you tomorrow. Visit phoenixcollege.edu backslash 100 to see a list of Vera Palooza virtual activities and events.